Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode in this Altus Number 1946 Iron Man series with the Soviet Union. I'm hoping in today's episode that we'll actually make some enemy contact. I would also I would be very surprised if we do not make enemy contact in this mission. And uh but yeah, it looks like we're gonna be doing a combat air patrol near uh, Tagino. Um, I expect some ground attack to be going on there. Maybe some HS-123s, uh, the Ducks or something. Maybe some F-190, FW-190 uh, ground attack variants, like the 190 f Maybe, we'll see. But, uh, yeah. Let's actually get some action this time. All right, I'm going to leave the takeoff in once again for this episode. If you want to skip ahead to the action, I've got chapters for that, so don't be afraid to use them. All right. Let's get this bad boy in the air. Man, this thing really loves to pull to the left. Gotta do full rudder right sometimes here. Another successful takeoff. All right. See you guys when the action starts. All right. Welcome back. We've got enemy context. One o'clock, lots of enemy contacts actually. Let's tell all my boys to attack. I don't want the fighters taking on my boys while they're trying to pick off fighters. We're the best Russian fighters in the air, so we better deal with the opposition. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay! That guy was really close. There are a lot of German planes here, actually. Alright, yeah, let's stay where my guys are. Okay, these guys are actually gonna be problematic. got good climb rate at low altitudes, so let's see if we can pull this off here. Uh, there's another one coming. Damn it. Alright, we gotta deal with this guy in it too. He's going head on and I don't want to do that. Okay. Holy crap. My wingman just died. Also, okay, there is another one right there. We're in a vertical scissors here, and I think he's got more energy right now. Yeah, I'm not winning this, so we gotta change the plane here. Okay. See what he did there? We're in a scissors now. Okay. I've got the advantage right now. He's trying to... Okay. Still have the advantage. 
Make sure no one's on me. Dang, I gotta have these shots. There is someone on me. That's a problem. No! Okay, that's a problem. That's a problem. Damn. Some nasty bastards out here. I'm just glad we didn't get pilot sniped. So yeah, we are over friendly territory. Jeez. Let's see how our boys are doing. Got a lot of planes in the air. This is, uh, okay, he's in trouble too. Somebody's shooting at. There are a lot of aircraft in the air. Oh, it's a Yak-9? That's actually... Messing with this 190 hit. Okay, he just overshot. He's not one of our boys, though. Hey, okay. That Yak-9 just got a kill on one of them. Okay, three just got messed up. It's not good. Let's see if four can score. Let's see if four can score a kill here. Looks like he just did. All right, so it's not a complete loss here. We're actually taking out some of the enemy. Yeah, I was afraid the longer I stuck behind that one guy the more likely it was that somebody else was going to line up behind me. And lo and behold, that's what happened. That's the, the struggle in these large dogfights, it's, it's really hard to keep track of everything that's going on while you're trying to make the kill. Honestly, I should have made the kill. Sooner I missed some shots that I honestly needed to land. A little rusty in that regard, I suppose. But yeah, if you don't, it seems like if you don't make your kill quick in this kind of combat situation, you gotta you gotta break off and gain altitude and reassert your advantage, or else you're gonna have his friends piling up on your behind and sending you to the grave. So I gotta keep that in mind going into the future. Here, I got away with it this time, but I won't get away with it. Forever. Especially if we're in enemy territory, because I would have gotten captured if we were behind enemy lines. Got a nice little dogfight happening here between number 4 and then 190. Looks like he's staying behind him pretty well. He might get a shot off here. Oh yeah, he's scoring hits. Sadly, I don't know if he got any critical hits. Lots of hits here. I'm surprised he's still alive, but he's about to get a 190 on him. Looks like they got the kill. Number four is in trouble, though. He should have a lot of energy. Uh, maybe not too much energy. He's about to be in big trouble very fast here. He has got a 190 on his 6, and I don't know if he can outmaneuver him. He's got a hope for an overshoot. Uh, Bat's bugging out on me again. Hold on. There we go. We've got a bit of a rolling scissors, perhaps, here. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know if four is gonna make it out of this one. We'll see. We've gotten involved in a very low speed engagement here, but number four has gotten behind a 190. Let's see if he can make a kill before his friend shows up. He's creeping in behind him. He's gonna have a good shot here in a moment. Into the sun. He was not able to secure the kill. His friend is close behind, but with no angle. Better hope that 190 doesn't turn back into him. The second 190, however, is decided to get on his tail. Number four is going to engage. It's going to be a deflection shot here. Okay, he didn't take it. Oh, there we go. It's oh, okay, jeez. I don't know if he's going to make it out of that one. He might survive that, but jeez, okay. It's tough. We got some... Okay, I accidentally hit something here. Okay. I don't know what the hell I just did, but I somehow opened up, like, the debug menu. My apologies. Okay, I don't know why that keeps happening. I'm not even touching the button, but okay. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well for Yak-9 here. I've got some... I don't know what that's about. Okay, we got some more dogfighting here. This Yak-9 is... Oh, this should be easy. Easy. Oh, goodness. He's got worse marksmanship than I do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got a hit? This is looking quite... <laughs> what an honor. Sometimes I question what kind of pilots are flying. Because this has got to be some of the worst marksmanship I've ever seen. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, he should have secured that kill. Now yeah, he's about to be in big trouble. Oh, yeah, he just got raked. Yeah, he's not having a good time. And there he goes. I don't know why Bat is being so buggy right now. Jeez. I don't know what Six is doing, but he's about to kill himself. Oh, he's following me. I see. Alright, who's even... Alright, I think I'm gonna call that one here, this one here. Let's see what happened. So, we lost ten planes, the enemy lost four planes. That is certainly not a good ratio. It's a realistic ratio, if we're being honest. So yeah, I got shot down by a 190A4 here. Lieutenant uh, Koryakov got a kill. Looks like he survived. He was probably the number four plane that we saw. Yeah, a lot of people got shot down. It looks like a lot of people survived, though. I think only... Oh no, Saposnikov died. He was the ace in our group. Saposnikov and Vinokurov died. It's very unfortunate that Saposnikov died. He was actually the only other ace in our squadron. It's a, a tough loss. Tough losses here. That's with that. Let's see what's lying ahead. Alright, it looks like we're going to be going well behind enemy lines for this next mission. And it's honestly just looking like a 
interdiction kind of like aerial interdiction kind of mission here. Uh, we have we got a new uh, mayor here, so we're no longer the in charge of the 176 IPVVS, which is kind of w weird. We must have taken quite the losses because now I'm the only person with more than two kills in this entire squadron, which is very unfortunate. But yeah. Man, that was that was a rough one. We we definitely got humbled by that 190. Got to be a lot more careful in the future, especially in this mission where we get shot down, it's over because we're captured by the enemy. But that uh, will be for next time. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.